Skittles. Twenty-one. There. So she's always going up front. Okay, guys. Tomorrow is a very special day. It's my little sister's 21st birthday, which she has literally been talking about since she was like six years old. And she always used to say, when I turn 21, it's gonna be on a Friday. And it's so sad that we can't do a normal 21st birthday celebration for her because she of all people has been looking forward to this her actual whole life. So I just went to our like local little store and I haven't gone into a normal store in four months, so it was super weird. But I ran into my yoga teacher and it was so good to see her. But I just got some champagne that we're gonna have some fun with and I got a few nips for her cake. I'm just so excited to get the celebration going. So tonight we're doing a little family celebration and then tomorrow on her actual birthday we're doing a little celebration with her friends. We're keeping everything super small, super safe, and I just want to help make it like the best possible birthday because it's under special circumstances and she deserves the best. All right, it's present time and she is through there. And let's go arrange them to put it out front. I do appreciate it. because you didn't shake it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, drink it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ali. Okay, guys, it's the next day. So that means that it's actually Ellie's birthday. She's officially 21, which is so crazy. Like she's 12 years old in my head. Not anymore. Reverse it. Oh yeah. <laughs> 12 21. I took the afternoon off work. I worked this morning and now it's like one o'clock. And we're gonna get a little bit of lunch, appetizers, and drinks at this restaurant that we go to every single year on Ellie's birthday. And this is my first time at a restaurant since COVID began. So I haven't been to one in probably over four months because I don't think I went to one like right before COVID started. So this is gonna be interesting and we're sitting outside by the river. It's just gonna be super nice and I can't believe we're gonna have a drink together. I know. The first time that we had a drink together was in Italy and yeah. I have that on in video. Rome. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was in Rome? Yeah. Yeah, it was. And then we had another one in Florence. Yeah. So this is gonna be a super exciting afternoon. When you get seated at the actual best gotten our sangria and let's cheers cheers to 21 oh it's good super good go ahead it is a few days later because i don't know i just like i probably just forgot that i was vlogging so it is a few days later and I just got some bikinis that I ordered from Zaffle in the mail and I have never in my life ordered from Zaffle before. I've 
like seen reviews about it on YouTube and my sister's ordered from them before, but I've never ordered bikinis online because I have a very hard time finding bathing suits that actually fit me and work for my body. But I found the review section on Zaffle to be super helpful and like looking at the pictures of people that have similar body types to me and I actually found some that work and I tried them on and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on all of them. I am the kind of person who tends to be very skeptical of these like online only brands like Zaffle and like Shein and stuff like that. So I decided to take the plunge and buy them. Take the plunge, no pun intended swimsuits bathing suits yeah. and buy these so stay tuned for my review and seeing if i like them also just for reference i'm like five foot three and i usually wear like a four to six in clothes and i got a medium in everything and everything seemed to fit very well across the board but the reason why i finally pulled the trigger and got these was because of an instagram ad who else has been victimized by an instagram ad before me but the first one which was like what caught my eye was this bathing suit this like set this is the top it's super cute and it actually surprisingly fits my large chest i love this and if you can't tell it's like a little bit of a ribbed texture it's really nice and the bottoms that go with it are super fun this is what they look like they're high-waisted and they're green they have little flowers and i've never owned a bathing suit that's like fun and patterned like this they go together super well but also like you can interchange them with other swimsuits because they're kind of like they go they can go with a lot of different things so the next one that i found which is also a high-waisted bikini because those are my friends it's actually kind of like a tankini too like the top is super cool i got it in black this is the top it honestly looks like it could be a shirt and i might wear it as a shirt because it fits so nicely so flattering i love it and this also has a ribbed texture to it i don't know if you can tell so that's the top and these these are the bottoms like i said they're high-waisted and what i love about these is that they're actually like high they sit high up on your hip so they they're super flattering for your legs they make them look really long um and i love them this is probably my favorite bathing suit that i got i got four and i think this one's my favorite just because it's so flattering maybe because it's black maybe because it's high-waisted and tankini whatever it is it's magic and it's working and it's my favorite okay the next one when I saw it on the website, I was like, oh, that's really cute, but like I could never wear a bathing suit like that. Then I looked at the reviews. Like I said, they're so helpful. You gotta check them out. I saw a review of a person with like a curvy body and this was so flattering on them. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try because it was like $10 or something ridiculous. I'm so happy with the top. The bottoms, not so much, very questionable, but I love it. The top is so cute. And it looks like it would be super small, but like it's actually such good coverage. It kind of even feels like a sports bra. I love it. It's so nice. And it's my favorite color of all time. So that's the top. These bottoms are definitely something that I will never wear in public because I just don't wear skimpy bathing suits like this. It just doesn't, it's not a good look for me. <laughs> very cheeky, very cheeky. So luckily it's super plain, so I'm gonna be able to wear this with like any bottoms that I want. So I love this top. Don't love the bottoms, but I love the top. Okay, and now we're at the last bathing suit. So this one was definitely the most of a miss. And I I might, I'm probably not gonna go to the trouble to return it because I'm lazy and it was like $10. So I'll just give it to a friend or something. It looked super cute online and I love the color. The color is so fun. I don't think I own anything this color. It would work. It's just that it doesn't have adjustable straps. And that's like a key for someone who's short and has a bigger chest. Like you need to be able to adjust those straps. I love it and it's so cute, but it's just like the straps are hanging off of my shoulders when I wear it. And then there's just like no support whatsoever. This is a no, 
but maybe maybe i can somehow make it work with like maybe i can sew it or something because i love the color and i love the tie in the front like it's it's just a cute suit the bottoms are a lost cause like i i ordered this knowing that i will never wear the bottoms there's like a little hem on the butt so they're like very cheeky and like accentuate your butt and i just like i said before i just don't wear bathing suits like that i actually at the last second decided to throw something a little extra into my cart while i was checking out and they're these sunglasses and these don't exactly look like the pictures online but i think i like them what are your thoughts like do we like these are they too thick i was thinking that they would be like a little thinner and like a little more of a cat eye but i think i like them like just for the beach also they were like six dollars which like that's why i just threw them in my cart at the last second all of these items all together i think it was 50 dollars, including shipping because they were having a sale but they kind of seem like the what the kind of website that's always having a sale <laughs> so with that being said if you liked any of these suits i'll have them all linked down below so you can find them i think overall my review of zaffel is that i liked it i definitely did not hate it and i'm excited to put these to use and wear them at the beach because I literally own two bathing suits so i'm excited to actually have cute bathing suits that i feel confident in that i feel like cover the right places but don't cover the right places and i'm just really excited about them so i think that that will be the end of this video thank you so much for watching as always it seriously means so much to me when you guys leave sweet comments on my videos and when you watch them like i can't believe that people take time out of their day to watch my videos so Thank you so much. It's just so kind of you. And make sure you subscribe if you're if you want to like keep in touch with me. Follow me on Instagram, leave a comment, do all the things and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.